All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Today, I'm going to show you the basics of After Effects and how to get started. So let's get into the video. So in this video, I'm going to be going through the basics of After Effects. I'm on a bit of a journey myself to learn After Effects like a pro. So come along for the journey. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so I can let you know when new videos like this come out and we can all learn together. So let's jump into After Effects and get started. OK, so when you open up After Effects, this is what it's going to look like. Now, After Effects is split into panels. You've got your project panel, you've got your new composition panel and you've got your timeline down the bottom. So they're your three main panels. And what you can do is if you go in between the panels, you can drag these across so you can make them as big or as small as you want. So you can customize your screens. So when you've got the screens how you want them, you're going to want to import your files. So you get a file, import multiple files in this situation. So I'm going to import this logo and this video. Just click import. And that's done. And now you can see the two files are in my project panel. So your project panel is going to get cluttered pretty quickly. So what I would suggest is putting them into subfolders. So it's quite easy. Just create a new folder. And then I'm going to drag those files into my files folder. OK, now I've got a folder with both my files in. OK, so really easy to organize all your files. So now what you're going to want to do is create a composition and all you need to do to be able to do that is just drag a video onto the new composition and boom just puts the video straight on and what you'll see is it's actually added it to this timeline down the bottom if i bring this logo and put that on top of the video you can now see in our timeline we've got the video underneath and the logo on the top now you can move these around so if i wanted the logo underneath then I'll just pull that underneath the video and now you can see the logo's disappeared. But we want the logo on top in this situation. We can resize the logo just by dragging the corners out. Hitting the space bar will actually play the composition on the timeline. So if you hit space, you'll see that the composition starts to play. Now, depending on how much you've got on your video, the video may not play in real time because it might just have too much processing to do. Now, if you find that your video is struggling, you can change the resolution of the video here from full, half, third or quarter. So I'm going to leave on auto for now, but you can change the resolution should you have any playback issues. Now we're going to get on to starting some basic animations. So if you go down to your timeline, if you click on this arrow next to the two squares, click on this arrow, it will open up the transform options. Now click on the transform arrow and it will give you all these different things that you can keyframe so animate so these are all the basic animations that you can do for this logo and you can see that if you do play around with these it adjusts where the logo is on the screen the scale change the scale control z to get rid of all of that okay so let's do some basic animations let's have the logo start in the bottom left diagonal and then ping up into the middle of our project what we're going to do is we're going to drag our logo to where we want it to start. Then we're going to click on our stopwatch and that will create a keyframe. And then we're going to move it, let's say, four seconds. We'll move the logo to the middle. Hit space and play it back. You can see the logo traveling to the middle of our composition. It's good, but it's a bit juddery. It doesn't look very smooth. So what you need to do is highlight the keyframes and hit F9. Boom. That should give us nice, smooth easing in and out. Now let's just play that back. Okay. And as you can see, it eases in and out at the start and the finish. Okay. So that's just the shortcut for the easing function. F9. Now let's say we want to animate the logo so as it comes into the middle of the screen it gets bigger. So let's go to our start position and click on the scale stopwatch and that will create our keyframe. Then we're going to take it to the other keyframe and we're going to type in 500. And again we're going to highlight those keyframes and F9. So let's just play that back now. And as you can see it's easing into the middle and getting bigger as it goes. Say we now want to add some text. So we're going to go to the text button in the top here. Click on that. 
and then we're going to go to our project and just click on the project and then just write some text. So Neil Collins recording. Highlight the text. If we move this column out, you'll see we have all these different options appear on the right hand side. Now, if you don't see these, if you click on this arrow at the top and just go to all panels, then it'll open this section up. Let's go to character. Let's change the font to Roboto. That's always quite a good one. And let's make it bold. Okay, so let's make it 200, make it much bigger. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to align it horizontally. We don't need to align it vertically, we'll align it horizontally. We want this text to come in when the logo gets to the middle. Okay, so let's just crop that text in to there. Now let's play the video back. Logo's coming in, logo's coming in, and there comes the text. Okay, really simple. I know the text doesn't really fit with the graphics, but this is just for the tutorial. That's how you add a simple logo animation with some text. Okay, that logo does look a bit pixelated. That's because it's not supposed to be blown up to five times its standard size. All these down the right hand side, these are all effects that you can add to any part of your composition. So let's go to effects and presets. Let's just do a little bit of color correction. Let's just get a tint and make the background black and white. So we just drag this onto the bottom clip. So you just drag it from the effects panel onto the clip you want to change the color of. Now the bottom clip. And now you see that our background clip has now gone black and white. And what you'll also see is that on the left hand side, we now have an effect controls for that particular effect. So you've still got your project there. If you click there, you've now got your effect controls for this specific effect. Okay, and now when we play the video back, the background is in black and white. We're gonna get rid of that effect for now, so just click delete and that'll take the effect straight off. So say you're happy with the logo and the text and the way they come in and you wanna use them on other compositions and not just this one. How do you turn that into a standalone composition that you can drag and drop onto any project? Just highlight those two layers, go to layer, Pre-compose down the bottom or control shift C and then we'll just name it logo intro. Go to OK. And now what that's done as that's blended those two together and turned it into its own little composition. So now you can see in the timeline down the bottom there's just two layers when there were three because it's in effect made this into its own layer. But if you just click on that, then it will take you back to the actual composition itself. So now we've got two compositions down here. We've got our logo intro composition on its own, which is just the composition as it is. So you could render that out and then you just have that for any project. We've also got our composition with the background as well. So a nice and simple way of being able to use this on numerous projects. We've got a composition at the moment we don't want to be rendering this whole video out because it'd take ages. So all you're going to do is you're going to go to the end, this top line here, and just drag it. Let's drag it to 10 seconds. And then we've just got 10 seconds of our clip to render out. And then we're going to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. And then we're going to go to Lossless. We're going to change the format to QuickTime. We're going to change the channels to RGB and alpha and that's all we're going to change okay and then the output to we're just going to choose where we want to send it to so I've already done that and now we're just going to click render and that will now render the video out obviously the longer the video the longer the render is going to take so once you've rendered that out it'll be in your folder as you can see the files are pretty massive so what you want to do is drag that into media encoder and just encode it in H.264 and then you'll have a much smaller file with a decent enough resolution to use in your projects. And that's all I'm going to show you in this one. I just wanted to show you around the screens and show you some basics so you can get started. And we're going to progress into more complex animations and motion graphics 
as the series progresses. So leave me a comment below, let me know what you thought of the tutorial. If you're not already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment, audio and visual gear reviews, tutorials, Premiere Pro tutorials, drone tutorials, all that sort of thing. So it'd be great to have some new faces on board. So please do hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next one.